Hey everybody, today's video, we're gonna change the oil and filter and change the air filter on the Dixon Zero Turn here. Uh, keep her going for the mowing season. So the first step I like to do is to blow all the old grass and dust and everything out of here. Here we go. Doesn't take a whole lot, and that way uh, you're not uh, dripping oil on it in case you um, drop some or spill some, and then creating a spot where that grass will want to sit the next time you mow, and could create some uh, some issues with uh, you know burning up. Which yeah, you don't want to do that. Okay, we're gonna tackle the air filter first. Uh, this thing is horrible. Um, Although it doesn't look as bad as I looked uh, after I mowed last time. If you watched my uh, alfalfa mowing video at all, you saw the dust that was coming up from the alfalfa. Well, the yard was worse. So I was covered in dirt and grass. Um, but it's time for a new air filter. This thing is, uh, it's, it's ready to go. So that it's pretty easy. There's, a, there's actually a thumb screw on this hose clamp. So I'll turn that out. It's loose. And then, <laughs> yeah, okay, so I hadn't been doing good maintenance on the back of there. Hmm, I don't know why she didn't want to start uh, as easy as she should have. Okay, so, yeah, that you can't blow out and reuse again. She's done. So, the boy and I went uh, treasure hunting earlier, and we bought, uh, we found one. It's the Kawasaki air filter. Found that at TSC today. So we'll clean up the air out of here. Try not to get it in your hose. And open this up. And in case you're wondering, yes, the gnats are still around. We are not done with gnat season yet, although I wish I, we were. This one's actually made in the USA, so pretty cool. But pretty simple. Put it back in there. Tighten it up. And if you tilt it up a little bit while you're tightening, it uh, gives you a little better angle. Too far because I can't have this. I don't think. Oh, I will. Mm. But actually, you can have that there. I'm going to put it down just a little. There we go. There we go. Now it's in there tight. Whoop. Got too excited with that one. Hey. Ah, uh, just has these side deals that'll go in there. There we go, back on, and now we'll get to the oil. 
Okay, so one of the nice things about this uh, oil outlet on the Kawasaki here on the, on the Dixon is that it has a hose that runs out of the, the engine, uh, bottom of the engine. So you, uh, you don't have to worry about it getting all over, uh, all over your deck if you do it right. So let's give it a whirl and see if we can get it unhooked. I thought about grabbing a socket, and I still may, but we'll see how this goes. Not much room to work with here, but I'm getting it, kind of. If I can get it hand loose, then I'll take it the rest of the way. There we go. And you know, it doesn't have a lot of gravity helping it out. So it is kind of a slow drain. Uh, so I'll clean my hands off and we'll get back to the next step. All right, so the next step, we're gonna take the old filter off. And on this one, I've got some uh, angled pliers. Because again, there's not a lot of room to work with. Yeah, so these are what I'm using. I got it loose now so I could take it the rest of the way off. There we go. It's the Kawasaki one. The one I have to replace is actually a Wix. That will be a 51334. And we'll let that uh, drain a little more before we put this back on. All right, so I got the uh, I got the plug back on the back so uh, that we won't pour oil in and it'll leak out. And next, like I said, uh, I'm using a Wix filter on this one. This is the 51334. And it actually has a little cellophane on the bottom. So make sure you remove that. And we're using uh, Mobile One 1030. This is uh, full synthetic that I'm using here. And I always put a little oil on the gasket. Again, I'm not sure if it really does anything, but it makes me feel better. So I'll get the filter. And it's not the easiest place to get to down here, but it's not the worst either. Make sure you get it started. You don't want to cross thread. Oops. 
roof. And the gnats are still helping out today. There we go. Now I'm getting it close to tight. There we go. And I was putting on hand tight for me. And I don't have any leaks. Uh, you know, if you do have to tighten it down a little bit, you just make sure you don't puncture it or anything if you use the pliers. So filters on, plugs on. Now it's time for oil. And it says it takes 2.1 quarts. So we're gonna put two in and then we'll let it set and check the level. There is one. And here comes number two. Yeah, we'll definitely be glad when that season is done. It's actually really windy outside today. Uh, so the gnats aren't bad when you're outside, but here in the shed, yeah, they're biting. And they try and fly up your nose and in your mouth and all that fun stuff. All right, so like I said, that's two quarts in there. We'll let this set and then we'll check the level here in a little bit. All right, so let it set a while, uh, stuck the plug in, and for this one, it, uh, it says you don't screw it on to check the level, and we're at the full level. Now, I haven't ran it yet, so I'll run it uh, around a little bit and then check it later. But you should always check your oil uh, before you start mowing. And as far as uh, which oil to use, make sure you check your operator's manual and all that good stuff. Uh, but there you go. Got the air filter and the oil changed on the, on old blue here. And as always, hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, subscribe. Take care.